Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Nursing Tutor. This is Ramya. Today we will discuss about the topic respiration. In this video we will see about definition of respiration, normal respiratory rate, types of respiration, mechanism of respiration, characters of respiration, factors affecting respiration and alterations in respiration. Definition of respiration. Respiration is the mechanism by which air is exchanged between the human body and the atmosphere. Respiration plays main function of taking the oxygen inside body and removing the carbon dioxide outside of body. That is called breathing. Types of respiration. There are two types of respiration that is internal respiration and external respiration. Internal respiration. Internal respiration happens inside the tissues that is exchange of gases occurs at the cellular level. External respiration. External respiration is happens in the lungs that is exchange of gases between the alveoli and the blood vessels. Mechanism of respiration. Each breath consists of three phases that is inspiration, expiration and pause. Inspiration. Inspiration is the active process. It involves contraction of the intercostal thoracic muscles. At rest, inspiration lasts about 2 seconds. Expiration. Expiration means removal of air outside the lungs. Expiration is the passive process. In this, diaphragm gets relaxed, abdominal organs return to their initial relaxed position. Pause. After the respiration, there is a pause before the next cycle begins. Characteristics of respiration. Respiratory rate, respiratory depth, rhythm. Respiratory rate. Rate is the number of times client took breath in a minute. One minute includes both inspiration and expiration. The average respiratory rate is 12 to 16 breaths per minute. Respiratory depth. It is the amount of air inhaled and exhaled during a respiratory cycle. It is also termed as tidal volume. Normal adult has tidal volume of 500 ml. Rhythm. Rhythms determines the regulatory in each respiratory cycle. It could be regular or irregular. Factors affecting respiration. First one is age. Infant respiratory rate is higher than adult respiratory rate second one is exercise with the exercise the respiration gets increased to fulfill the oxygen requirement of body third one is emotions during emotions respiratory rate increases with the activation of sympathetic nervous system next smoking Chronic smoking brings changes in the respiratory tract alters the normal respiration rate of client Body posture. A straight posture enhances chest expansion whereas lying flat prevents so. This is why we provide fowler's position to client experiencing difficulty in breathing. Next one is medications such as opioids, general anesthesia, sedatives, decreases respiratory rate. Metabolism. Changes occurring in metabolic rate due to hormones may alter the respiratory rate. Injury or trauma. Trauma that impairs brain stem inhibits the respiratory rate and rhythm. Next one is pain. Pain changes rate and rhythm. Client takes a shallow breath to avoid pain. Alterations in respiration. Bradypnea. Respiratory rate below normal limits that is below 10 breaths per minute is called bradypnea. Tachypnea. Respiration above normal limits that is 30 breaths per minute is called tachypnea. Apnea. Absence of respiration. Dyspnea. Difficulty in breathing. Orthopnea. Difficulty in breathing but relieved by sitting or standing in upright position. Labored breathing. Client is taking extra efforts while breathing. Sigh. Very deep inspiration followed by prolonged expiration. It is just like yawning but in case of anxiety, client took repeated sigh. Stridor. High pitched crowning sound during inspiration occurs in case of blockage of upper airway. Stutter. 
it is a snoring sound occurring when secretions are present in trachea wheeze wheeze is a high pitch whistling sound produced due to partial obstruction of airway most common in asthma client nasal flaring difficulty in breathing characterized by dilation of nostrils during breathing cyanosis bluish discoloration of skin due to lack of oxygen in tissues anoxia no oxygen in tissues hypoxia lack of oxygen in tissues asphyxia state of suffocation hypoventilation decrease in rate and depth of respiration hyperventilation increase in rate and depth of respiration thank you for watching friends subscribe this channel for more videos thank you blood pressure we will see in next video